What is up, party people? Welcome to another episode of Behind the Picture. It's me, Cardi. Today we're doing something different. Today we are doing some IRL streaming. And the goal for today's stream, let's see if I can get 10. 10 portraits, 10 street portraits. I'm trying to not shoot candid. I actually, I'm better if, I'm actually better if I shoot and ask people. So that's what we're doing. Let's go and try and catch some street photography. If you're watching this live, thank you for tuning in. We are in the streets of Toronto, the back alleys of Toronto, actually. I have the Canon R5. I am shooting with a 100 millimeter macro today. And the 100 millimeter, the thing that's crazy about this lens is it's really amazing for street portraits. It's also a macro lens, so I can actually get quite close with these street portraits. Very interested to see what happens today. And by the way, I did a post recently um, on my A Life Behind the Camera blog. By the way, if you're not subscribed to my mailing list, definitely jump on my mailing list. Link in the description of this video. I talked about advice for the shy photographer and advice for the shy portrait photographer. Secret time, that's me. I'm actually a shy portrait photographer. Welcome Vicky, welcome Sebastian, welcome Jason. I am a shy portrait photographer, so this is hard for me. I want you to understand that. This is actually hard for me. It is difficult for me to go out and do what I'm doing right now live. So social anxiety is going to be a factor right now, <laughs> but um, we're dealing with it. We are dealing with it. We are shooting with the GoPro Hero 11, beautiful stabilized, live streaming camera secret time we're gonna get some street portraits and the thing about the street portraits as mentioned i always ask i don't like grabbing so we're about to walk onto queen street yeah the sunshine's nice i'm in a t-shirt although last night i was out for drinks and i was wearing a sweater over this uh summer being uh, gone. Okay, I'm gonna start right here. I am watching chat. Oh. I am watching chat, so... By the way, for me, the hardest one is always the first one. The first cut is the deepest. You guys can't ask me anything as I'm out here. A <laughs> shout out to the shy photographers. <laughs> Yeah, the thing that's cool though, is the quality of this camera. The quality of this camera is mental. Yeah, I'm... Just, it, it always takes me a second to kind of get into the vibe, I'll tell you. Watching how people are moving. Most of them are moving quickly. I chose to be on the sunny side of the street. I should probably be on the shady side of the street. The light's a little bit extra here. Lauren Maria. Uh, I 
just I'm just saying hi, Lauren. Hi, good to see you. Good to see you too. I gotta reach out with you and figure out something. Can I take your fast portrait right here? Yeah, I'm the worst thing. You're amazing. Thanks so much. Good to see you. I'll good to see you too. Take okay. it easy. Wow, that was fun. Yeah, that's called opening a door and taking a picture. You see that one? <laughs> you want to see that one? See if you guys can get a look at that. That was cool. I don't know if you guys can see that on the back of the camera. That was fun. That was fun. Okay, we broke the seal. Oh yeah, it's hard to see, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but guess what we usually do after I do these IRL streams? After... After I do these IRL streams, I always... I always do what we call a work session. And that's where I look at the shots. Actually look at the shots that we did. That I did out here. I see a photo here. We're going to get it. See a couple here. I see a couple here. We're just grabbing these. I see this guy right here. I see this guy right here. Yeah, we want this guy right here. We want that guy. That was great. We want this guy with the guitar. Can I take your photo, bro? Yeah, yeah, I was about to get a photo. I'll send it to you as well, eh? Sure, I'd appreciate that. Chris O'Day. I love it. Let's go, Chris. This is uh, beautiful, beautiful. We're going to scan Chris so we can send him. Oh my god, let me get this. Take those sunken eyes and learn to see. All right, Chris. I'm gonna send it. You'll be waiting for this moment to be free. This is great. That girl. Into the light of the top right. Taking you guys along for this journey as we walk Queen Street. Who is 
is the Max Lens mod today. We're going to cross over to the shady side of the street. We are going to shady side it up. The light's definitely better on this side. Welcome everybody who is tuned in live by the say. Oh, by the way, GFGN, I'm shooting R5 with a 100 millimeter macro today. So the camera right here, R5, 100 millimeter macro today. Trying to do something different. This is a great portrait lens. Great portrait lens. Let's see if I can get some street photography here. And by the way, today we are going cord free. I have my battery pack in my pocket in case I need it. But. Trying to get some real interesting photographs. And I'm already, I've already broke the seal. Oh, this is great. Yeah, that's a great photo. It's a bit dark. Let's bump the exposure. Yeah, that's way better, way better. can probably see that much better -er. much better -er. so this side of the street it's a little shady but it's so much better for portrait light walking in the opposite direction it's hard by the way um, Instagram subscriber from the UK watching in love over the water. <laughs> Let's go. Welcome from the UK. Welcome to the streets of Toronto. Welcome to the streets of Toronto City. We're doing a little IRL stream. Many of you guys haven't seen me do an IRL stream. Uh, what was happening with my previous GoPro? That GoPro was glitching. I had the Hero 9. And of all the GoPros, the Hero 9 is the one that glitches the most. Okay, I see another photo. The Hero 9 is the one that glitches the most. So, I wanted to get a camera that didn't glitch. Oh, that's so good. That's great. Really liked that photo. Could take you guys through Graff Alley. Historic Toronto Graff Alley, where the best graffiti artists in the city paint. That was a really dope photo, actually. Look at this. Look at this graffiti. Like, how sick is that? Yes or yes. This is the best artist in the city. So crazy back here. Right now it smells like exhaust. But, it's kind of dope. Right now it smells like uh, food grease. <laughs> But the graph back here is so amazing. So, so, so amazing. JH, you're very welcome, bro. You're very welcome. Very welcome. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. So, let's have a little bit of a look at more. Look at this. 
Look at this piece. People come from everywhere to see this graffiti. So But it's also a back alley. <laughs> so you kind of got to bear that in mind as well. It's also a back alley. Yo, this is for Ukraine. We got to photograph this for Julie. Although I do have a, the wrong lens on for this. You can see this um, Ukrainian colors. And have to shoot this. Kind of dope. See if I can get this from the other side. Yeah, that's strong. That's strong. Yo, Oki, with the gifted memberships again. Oki, you are such a savage. Jesus, Oki. Come now. Oki has gifted five memberships every live stream for the last four live streams. Like, literally, Oki is responsible for... 20 of you, 20 of you having free memberships. So, Oki, thank you so much. That's, oh my God, Oki, you are a savage. Look at this piece, super sick. There was a photo of that lady shooting, but I missed her. But yeah, you can see people come from everywhere to shoot photos here. Wow, Oki, you are such a gentleman. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Oki. Happy Sunday. <laughs> it's always happy Tuesday. Hello, friends. Sometimes this happens, you know, sometimes we get a little disconnect, but that is a-okay. We are back. We're back. And I hope we're back. <laughs> sometimes, there we go. We are back. Sorry, guys. Um, we had a disconnect. Don't ask me why the GoPro disconnected, but sometimes it happens. Sometimes that happens. You didn't miss anything. We back. We back, Cobra. We back, Oki. Yeah, we're back. Sometimes we get disconnects. I mean, again, I don't know why. I have no answers, but we're back. We are back. I'm sure you guys will find me. You'll get the live alert that we are up and running. Oh, sometimes, sometimes, look at this street art. Rob Ford. Oh, that's... We got photo shoots happening. Look at this. Look at this. All the way up there. So great. I love this little under. And this whole building is covered. whole building is covered.
at this. There's street art everywhere. More portraits. Mrs. Poser, one of my um, favorite Toronto artists. He paints this rabbit everywhere. Kind of dope. Sorry for the disconnect, folks. Sometimes that happens. Sorry for the disconnect, folks. Wow, look at this corner. Look at this. Very dope. Oh, thanks so much. Thanks so much, Cora. Um, yeah, this is a really sick corner. But we are looking for people to photograph. It's a bit, bit better for you to see once I come a bit closer. There could be a shot here, these two on the wall. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get it. Wow, this is a sick Tesla. Can I take one? Yeah. Dope. Sick. Thanks, guys. Sick. Look at this uh, wrap. Very crazy wrap. Rapidy wrap wrap. More poser with the rabbits. Look at that Tesla, eh? Sick. Huh, what's interesting? Wow, new piece. Look at this piece. Hey, by the way, if you've just tuned in, thanks for hanging out with me. You've just tuned in. Thank you. Welcome. Appreciate you. We are doing a little Toronto, trying to shoot street portraits, dealing with my social anxiety, which is always fun to deal with. <laughs> you guys think that I'm so extroverted because I have a YouTube channel. When I'm talking about photography, I can be very extroverted. It's when I'm, it's when I'm by myself and I'm talking to strangers. That's when it's actually the hardest for me. The hardest for me to interact with people, the hardest for me to make photos. So know that if you're shy, if you're a shy photographer, this is, um, it's almost therapy to go out and photograph in scenarios where it makes you uncomfortable. I'm doing that right now. I'm shooting in, in areas and I'm asking people for photographs, doing everything that makes me uncomfortable. I like this phone booth though. I'm gonna try to get this. Yes, this is a photo. Yes, this is a photo. Have a look at this installation of this phone booth. Very cool. Let's have another shot of this. Oh, 
There we go. We got something, something. Again, always battling here. For those of you who just tuned in, I apologize for the disconnect. Sometimes it happens. We are shooting R5. We're shooting R5 with a 100 millimeter macro. 100 millimeter macro. Oh my goodness, look at this. I love graph artists. I just love the talent. Love the talent. And again, I try not to just shoot plain graffiti. There's a guy hanging out in here. I try not to just shoot plain graffiti because that's someone else's artwork. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad, guys. The wind just turned up a bit wherever I, where I'm standing. Let's go, Saba. Let's go, Antoine. Advocate. The ambient sounds like it's New York. Yeah, this Toronto is like, it's New York of Canada, you know? It's the New York of Canada. I'll bring you guys back into the thick of it a little bit. Doing a little bit of a back alley scramble here. By the way, guys, the more chat messages you send, I'm seeing all of them. The more likes, hit the like button on this video if you guys are enjoying my IRL. I do IRLs every other week or so. I think it's necessary to, first of all, get off my desk. I'm on my desk 24 hours a goddamn day. I need to be off my desk sometimes, you know? It just feels good to be away from my desk and shooting photographs. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go into the thick of it. Into the thicky, 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 thick. There's definitely a photo here. If you don't have streets like this in Europe, listen, honestly, this is why I wanted to, I wanted to come and just hang out with you guys outside. So you can see what the vibes are. There's a photo here. Why'd you turn around? I just lost that photo. I just lost that photo. There was just a flick there, but my subject ran away. My subject ran away. Okay, I gotta make sure I don't pop any buttons on this GoPro. See what the battery life's looking like. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Have a look up here. This infrastructure is kind of crazy. Streetcar tracks. I'm going to hang out here for a second. I'm going to hang out here. Just to see what the vibe is looking up the street. Yeah, let's hang out in the center of the road for a second. Yeah, distracting backgrounds though. Lots of cars running at me. Distracting backgrounds, not seeing anything that's really interesting from standing here. but it's kind of a cool view for you guys with me standing in the middle of the street. But yeah, I don't see a photo. I don't see a photo. It's 
too busy. Honestly, it's too busy. And again, my talent for street photography is questionable. <laughs> my street photography talent is questionable. I'm definitely not Alan Schaller. And I'm limiting myself by one lens and limiting myself with going out with a, a telephoto lens, in fact. I see a photo, maybe. Just need this guy profile. Yeah, there's something there. There's something there. There's something there. <laughs> wow, super close, intimate snaps. This guy on his phone. That's great. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Okay, I'm getting some photographs. I'm getting some photographs. What's up, Nathalie? Glad you're here, Nathalie. Part of the mentorship program. Welcome, Nathalie, all the way from Paris. Well, not really Paris, but France. France. Welcome, welcome. Just so you guys get a little view of me. How funny is this? You guys get a little view of me? By the way, welcome, everybody. Glad you guys are here. This is kind of funny. Very funny. Very funny. <laughs> All right. Are there more photos here? By the way, whatever part of the world you guys are in, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I like bringing you guys down through the streets of my city. <laughs> Is there a portrait here? Maybe? Maybe? This guy definitely scoped me. This guy definitely scoped me. What's up, Junior? Muta Kabir. Michelle, welcome, welcome. Sava, welcome. <laughs> the feeling of losing photos right in front of you. Yeah, that's the reason that I, um, when I uh, bring you guys along with me, that's the whole idea, is you guys are all likely a little bit more capable at street photography than I am. I find street photography the most difficult of all the genres of pictures that I make. It's the most difficult for me. I find it very difficult, very hard. But you guys know I'm an editorial shooter. I usually shoot sessions um, of subjects that are set up that I have permission to shoot. So when I'm shooting this way on the street, basically trying to grab photos, I find it incredibly difficult. I find it incredibly difficult because it's not what I do. But what I do do this for is for like exercise. This is what I call photo exercise. It helps me, it helps me. It's like therapy. It's therapy, it's, it's difficult to, um, it's difficult to do it, but it's therapy. I, I try to just like push through, even if um, I fe it feels odd, I see a photo.
I love shooting people on their devices. It's something I do a lot. Like, I love shooting people on their devices. Yeah, that's a photo. We're gonna get one more. We got one more. One more, one more. Yeah, shooting people on their devices makes me so happy. Photo walk, says Junior. Junior, I think it's you who keeps asking me about photo walks. I'm gonna do another one in the next week or so, I think. If there's an interest, make sure you're on my mailing list. Make sure you're subscribed to my mailing list and we'll set up. Let's not hit, get hit by a <laughs> That bus did not want to be uh, held up by that pedestrian. So yes, sir, photo walks because if the, again, if there is a desire for them, I'll do them. kind of feeling like New York right now with the way that we're uh, jaywalking. I have to get a little bit uh, <laughs> be fast, be precise, and be invisible. Yeah, I mean, that's the goal. But I'm also, I'm very specific to who I want to train my camera on. I don't want to shoot anybody who's young. So I'm only like, people have to be of age, you know? Toronto is very much like, it's back to school almost time. So there's so many kids out shopping back to school. So I'm looking for the right kind of vibe. I'm gonna get this person right here on his device. And then I might take you, oh, I lost him. But let me take you into the shoe store. Cause you know, you guys might be into this. Hey man. Yeah, this is what you see. Yeah, I lost that guy on the, on the device. Oh, there he is again. It's a nice Carrera. See if I can get part of this Carrera. I don't know, I don't, it's not really my jam. Maybe, oh sorry guys, sirens coming. Sirens are plenty coming. Apologies. Apologize for that. Yeah, there's, I mean, car photography is not really something that I'm even trying to do. Really only interested in photographing people. There's a vibe here. It's like people notice that I'm taking photos after I get them, which I'm fine with. Okay, there's a guy with a strange vehicle for moving. Okay. There is a desire for it, says Junior. I like trying to catch people on their devices, but it's not always easy. Definitely ask any questions if you have any. I see a photo here. Yeah, I definitely got that. 
Sick. Yeah, thank you, Tintin. You don't want it at all, or you want something here? Alrighty. Welcome everybody who's tuned in, tuned in. It's nice that I have a nice audience y'all watching me live. I see a photo here. I'm gonna grab this. More people on their devices. We are at uh, Nutch Music, City TV. Architecture for the architecture fans. Oh, I definitely have to get this girl on her phone trying to watch this guy on the ladder. Yes. Okay. with a uh, hundo so I got that looks like an installation oh yeah we can go to the corner where I shot Kanye West we're right here why not Ah, oh, it did. <laughs> you got a haircut. You look good. I can't hear you. All right, let's go to the spot. The very spot. Okay. Okay, I'm going to give you a little two cents right here is the very spot that I shot Kanye West I photographed him right here literally my bad sorry guys I almost thought I disconnected, but we are we are like right in the exact spot that I was standing, right here. Um, if you've seen that shot of mine, of Kanye, basically here's the story. This was where lounge was, lounge clothing. And Kanye was in there. And I was up the road at the office and the office was just up there where it says spaces that is where the lounge office was and I got the call yo Kanye's downstairs please come make a photo I came down and uh, Kanye security pushed me in there and then a few minutes later we were out here and I made a photograph Kanye was standing Kanye was standing literally right here in this photo, in this spot, and then I came down, I made a photo. It was right here, right here, for those who care. Let's get a picture of this dog. This is great. Amazing. 
All right, guys. All right, well, I'm not gonna cross against the light. I'm gonna try to get a couple more portraits. Yeah, listen, Sava, I gotta tell you, this is all part of my challenge. I'm shooting with a long lens. I'm shooting essentially with a telephoto, a portrait lens, um, when I absolutely shouldn't be. You know what I mean? This is not the lens for this type of photography at all, which is part of the reason that I'm using it. It's part of the reason why I'm using it. I'm trying to do things hard. Yeah, it's it doesn't make sense, but it's actually what's happening. It doesn't make any sense, but it's what I'm doing. Yeah, it makes no sense, but it's what I'm doing. Ah, all right. We are working our way back into my area I think that I definitely succeeded in getting 10 street portraits I would say for sure I don't like the background there I would say I definitely succeeded in getting 10 street portraits got more than 10 for sure when I go out it's all about for me, shooting people, I find it difficult. <laughs> also, talking to my camera while I'm walking down the street and there's people staring at me, that's also difficult. Very difficult, as you can probably imagine. As you can probably imagine, it gets super awkward. <laughs> it's super awkward. <laughs> and not to mention, I'm not even thinking of the fact that there's all of you at home watching me, which is also just add pressure, you know? Let's just keep adding pressure. As I dip through people down here. Okay, bye. Oh my word. Yeah, you know, anxiety. Shout out from Tokyo. Let's go, Aaron. Welcome. Welcome. All the way from Tokyo, bro. That's nuts. Can't even imagine what time of day it is out there. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Oops, let's try not to cover the lens. Welcome, welcome. Okay, we're gonna go down a little bit different. We'll get into a little bit of architecture. Get home safely, guys. Excuse me. We're gonna get into a little bit of architecture and get away from that music because it's a little obnoxious as far as me trying to hear y'all. We're going into the entertainment district, which is what it's called. And I mean, I like to call it the architecture district because the architecture here is so sick. Let's start with this. Look at this. So amazing, right? Look at that. This building is like a reclaimed building where they took this building and then they built this building on top. And look at the stilts through the glass, holding up the other side of the building. Absolutely amazing. We seem to do that a lot in Toronto with the stilts. Do I use viewfinder? Viewfinder only, Aaron. I don't shoot with the LCD. I shoot with a pro camera, not my phone. 
much. Oh yeah, dude, I shoot yeah, with the yeah, viewfinder. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard for you to see just because of where I have my camera. My camera's around my neck. I love this building too. I love this building as well. Super sick. Now we're gonna walk along King Street, I think. Yeah, I shoot with the viewfinder. Um, I don't really believe in shooting with the LCD. Sometimes, you know, when you're in the studio, you can use the LCD to frame up a shot because you're on tripod and you know you want to show the art director or something. But once it comes time to actually shooting, I'm back to having my eye inside the camera hole. You know? Viewfinder all day. Viewfinder, viewfinder. Okay. Okay. Greetings from Phoenix. Yo, the Telesin neck holder? Yeah, this... I'll tell you what else I ordered. I ordered a DJI Osmo Pocket, or the, I mean the Osmo Action mount. So you can do quick switches between like all your mounts. That's only for the Osmo, Osmo Action, but a company made one that fits the GoPro. You just have to unscrew the bottom part of the GoPro. So I ordered that, that's gonna come in. Then I'll be able to have fast switching between all my mounts. Right now my mounts are quite slow, but I do, this neck mounts a quick release, so it goes pretty fast. We're gonna cross across here into the sunshine. Go down to King Street, have a look at some vibes. Igor, welcome from Brazil. Oh, dude, thank you so much, Igor. I appreciate that. Hearing kind words like that, it's, <laughs> it means more than you actually understand, honestly. Anytime I, I, listen, this last video that I've made, it's got 200, oh, I mean, 120,000 views. I've got so many subscribers, like over, 6,000 subscribers from one video. 6,000 subscribers from one video. Over 100,000 views. Like, I'm... It's actually overwhelming for me. You know, the, the amount of attention that I suddenly have on me and my channel, it's... It's kind of overwhelming. I'm trying to handle it, but it is a little uh, messed up. I gotta get this guy. A great shot. Yeah, I got it. That's sick. Yeah, that's great. Not sure if you can see, but that was dope. Scarborough. Let's go, Junior. You know, I was born in Scarborough Centenary Hospital, my guy. Secret time. Originally, originally from the borough. Let's go, Sensi. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Oh, there's a shot of the CN Tower, actually, for you guys who are not from Toronto. That used to be the tallest freestanding structure. Let's see if we can get a little squeeze of this photo of the CN because we're in the perfect spot. I got the right lens. Yeah, that's something. That's something. Yeah, that's the picture. Sorry if that was over my lens. That's the photo. Hard to probably see, but.
All right, we are on King Street. We call it the dot. We call it the six. Not a lot of people on this street right now. Cars can't really drive on this street. So you can see how I'm just in the middle of the street right now. Yeah, you can't really walk on uh, or drive on this part of King, as you can see. It's just, uh, <laughs> it's like <laughs> no traffic, <laughs> no traffic. So just walking down the center of the street right now. Yeah, King West. So guys, today's challenge was, can I shoot 10 street portraits? Can I nail 10 photographs that I actually care about enough to look at after? I think I actually did. I think I actually got it. I'm sure you guys watching, by the way, sorry for the disconnect. I'm sure you guys watching saw lots of photographs that I missed, which is part of the enjoyment of watching a live stream and watching someone else make photographs, is like you actually see photos that no one else saw, which I think is, it's dope. You know, you get a, a firsthand perspective as to what's interesting to you, which this is why we all make photographs. This is why we all get to have cameras and it's not just a, a solo thing, you know? We all get to do it. Wondering if there's a photo here in front of the streetcar. Is the car gonna run me over? Yeah, it's not exactly what I hoped. I needed a little bit more contrast, in fact. We needed a little more contrast. Um, sometimes I do, Adriano. Sometimes I talk to people. It really depends on my headspace. Um, when I'm doing my, when I'm doing, I guess, just filming videos instead of streaming live. I do find myself interacting more and I work slower. Sorry, this fire truck is super loud. Like super loud. I'm really trying to talk over it, but I can't really do anything about it. It's loud. Loud. Are right, gonna cross over here? I saw a photograph, but again, I wasn't fast enough. You gotta be fast, yo. You for sure have to be fast. Let's check the life of this battery. Okay, we're starting to get into the orange. Starting to get into the orange. We've been going for over an hour, not plugged in. So I'm gonna plug y'all in. And again, I'm gonna start walking back to my hood, my area. But not before giving uh, this GoPro a little juice. Not checking my chat at the exact second here, but let me plug this power in.
we now can't disconnect. Beautiful. Okay, we're back. We're back to having a little power, yes. I don't have quite as much um, I don't have quite as much uh, pull. We can move this this way. Here we go. Alrighty. Alright, alright, alright. We're back to power. So Saba says this year you went crazy for low contrast and low blacks. Everything feels dreamy. You want to try it? I definitely know that look. It's definitely a cool look. It's just the thing that I advise is whatever style that you settle on, whatever like post-processing te technique that you settle on, you kind of have to make all your work look like that. Because if you're just jumping around different styles all the time, it's really hard um, for your work to look unified. And I think that's one of the main goals for photographers is have your style really drive the work that you're doing. And do I shoot in burst mode? Never. Never. I only shoot in like one shot. That's kind of always my vibe. One shot. But I shoot lots of shots. <laughs> One shot, but um, I shoot in bursts, but I don't rapid fire. Let's go, Vicky. Glad you're back. Glad you're back. Glad you're back. Oh, Aaron, thank you so much, buddy. Thank you, I'm glad you're enjoying the IRL. Just trying to do, as I said earlier, before I was disconnected, my stream disconnected, um, the whole idea is I need to get off my desk. It's kind of too much when I'm on my desk all the time. It actually makes me a little crazy. Oh my goodness, there's actually a photo here but I for sure have the wrong ones. That's another thing like knowing that, knowing that you have the wrong lens, it hurts. It hurts, but it, it's like, it's part of the discipline of going out with just one lens is knowing like, oh, you can't get that photo. It sucks, but I don't know. It's part of like this discipline thing that I do with limitations. I like creating limitations for myself. Okay. Shall we dip back out? We're not gonna go down Dip Graph Alley again. Oh, uh, thanks so much, Josh. Bro, thank you. It's like IRL streams is necessary. It's necessary to do different things, you know? There's a photo here. Yeah, that's something. Yeah, it's like... <sighs> sometimes I interact, and again, it all depends on how I'm feeling that day. All depends... All depends on the vibe that day. Hey, belly, belly, Bella, Bella. Yeah, Bella, I'm in Toronto. I'm in T dot. 
the six. My arm's getting tired from holding this camera out, believe it or else. Yeah, um, but we're gonna keep trying to do it. It is definitely uh, tiring. <laughs> yeah, the distillery district, um, Junior, that's definitely, for my next photo walk, we're gonna start in a totally different area. I'm feeling like Underpass Park. The distillery district, personally, I think is a little played out. There's too many wedding photographers shooting down there. It's not really my jam as far as the location, but I'm definitely into Underpass Park, which is like a graffiti covered basketball court underneath the highway. It looks really dope. I'd be into trying that. You know, that's something that's dope. Got lots of people staring at me, of course, because I got the camera in front and not aiming at what I am seeing. You guys are looking at me. We got some skater girls ahead. Definitely. So, when I came out here, my challenge was battle my social anxiety, shoot 10 street portraits. I definitely shot 10 street portraits. Did I battle my social anxiety? I think so. I think so. I mean, every time I go out, it's another exercise in like getting in the headspace to ask strangers for photos. Sometimes I sometimes I just shoot the photos without asking. It depends on the person. I would say today I asked maybe three or four or five times, but the rest I just grabbed. And I think still I like the photographs. Tuesday we'll have a look at what I shot. I think Tuesday we're gonna do another episode of this week's inspiration. Where I'll find five amazing photographers. Maybe we'll find some street photographers. Street portrait photographers that inspire. And we'll look at them and see if that is something that inspires you guys. Know that I do these live streams three days a week. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And Sunday, which is today, is always at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm gonna sign off today. I'm gonna go back, import this card, massage my shoulder from holding this GoPro up for the last hour. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today. Hope you guys enjoyed today. Hope you guys enjoyed today as much as I did. It was definitely dope. Maybe we'll hang out here for a second. Uh, maybe we'll hang out here for a second as people walk by. Ha. Huh. Malcolm Malcolm. Malcolm, I would love to see your take on street photography. I really would. And Michelle, thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this little angle, you know? I hope you guys enjoyed this angle. When I'm sitting in a spot and some random street dude sits down right next to me, when I have my camera down, and someone randomly just like sits right down next to my camera. No bueno. I had to get up. <laughs> I had to get up. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this live stream. 
I'm always trying to do things new. Next week we have this week's inspiration. Next week we're going to, well this week, we're gonna look at some photographs. If you guys have photographs to submit, you might have noticed on the Discord that there are YouTube member only areas. YouTube member only areas means you have to be a member in order for the photos to be reviewed. I have to somehow limit the amount of photos that are being submitted per photographer to five photos. If you have more than five photos, you're gonna have to split it, meaning send me five this week and send me, you know, the next, the next week. It's impossible for me to get to everybody. The fact that we've made that ask a photo pro submission members only again i want people who are serious about being photographers serious about taking their photography to the next level i'm trying to limit the amount of iphone photos that i'm getting submitted limit the amount of just randomness that's getting submitted for review just i don't think it's fair to me to be reviewing like just random photos from your camera roll i want to see deliberate photography that you're trying to shoot for your portfolio that's the only goal if you guys send me that kind of photography definitely going to help you become a better photographer make your portfolio better target your niche and you'll be rocking in no time all right so guys hope you enjoyed today's live stream all the way from the streets of Toronto. I'm gonna sign off. I'm gonna sign off. We do have a couple of spots left for the mentorship program. It is getting kind of packed as far as how many people are booking my mentorship program. Like, packed. Like, I have t over 10 people. So, if you're trying to get in, get in soon, because I am going to actually turn that off for a little bit while I get these people who are in it right now set up. Next, if you want alerts as to when I go live, you gotta subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell noti, as everybody says. Leave a comment. After I go off this stream, leave a comment because comments, likes, propel this stream out to more people. And again, if you like this type of content, sharing to your network means absolutely everything. I would love if you shared me, my YouTube channel, to anybody that you know that's struggling at photography and you think I could help get better. I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so, so, so much. We will see you guys on Tuesday. Thanks so much for watching.